And a warm welcome from a venue that really oozes football history. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro in Milan. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And now things get really exciting on the UEFA Champions League front. We're at the semi-final stage, and what we have coming up is the first leg. It's Inter facing Porto. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. Chalanolu. Well, Inter a bit wasteful in possession. And a look at the Inter team. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Eva Nilsson and Uribe a gift for any goalkeeper Chalanolu and take it away and the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage options in the middle it comes to absolutely nothing. Ottavio. And he read it well, intercepting it. Barella. And they need to get tighter here. Barella. Firing it towards goal. Oh, keeper dealt with it. <laughs> now sending it in. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Martinez, it's got to be, and there it is, the first goal in the semi-final, a huge moment, extraordinary scenes. Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved, they've played really well so far. underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next an effective challenge and plenty of space for this inter attack Mkhitaryan on to Barella and he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. <laughs> a 
And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. Edin Dzeko has played at such a high level for so many years. Is he stamping his authority on the game the way you thought he would? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Chalanoru. Matteo Damian. Now with Miki Tarian. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Barella. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Uribe. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Now we're into the final half hour. Martinez. Return to Dzeko. Mkhitaryan! Off the crossbar. He thought it had a chance. Well, that was a clever attempt, wasn't it? Just a couple of inches too high. A bit unlucky, really. Wendell. Steven Eustachio still trailing but they're upping the pressure will they get themselves level here and a goal to square the game edge of the seat stuff well here it is again the through ball is absolutely inch perfect and once he gets onto it he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique what an emphatic finish that is So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Short corner taken. Barella. Can they cover up? And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ottavio.
Martinez. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Lukaku. Can he finish? Oh, he's blocked it. Clears it away. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These Inter fans are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. And, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Well, he let them go on, but now he's going to deal with the yellow card situation. Yeah, and he was always going to be booked for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Martinez, determined defending. Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Got to it easily, the keeper. A second leg to come, but Inter with the lead after this first match. Well, they'll be pleased with that victory, but it's a slender lead they're taking into the second leg, and I think they'll be confident, but it's going to be tight, that's for sure. Romano Lukaku does know how to take a game by the scruff of the neck. What would be your verdict on his performance? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.